Two Trees has done it again. They are taking pre-orders for the Two Trees Bluer Plus and they will start shipping on July 15, 2020. Right now, the 3D printer is about 460 or 470, which is $200 less than the actual Creality CR10 uh, Pro version 1 or 2 and whatever. I think the Bluer Plus will compete strongly with the CR10 Pro whatever version and the Sidewinder X1. Right now, the 3D printer is quite cheap compared with the Pro version 2 from Creality. The Bluer Plus is packed with features and every detail seems to have been paid attention to. They do introduce a few features that are new or at least very few manufacturers have implemented these or none at all. But let's start with the basics that we have been used to. There's a generous volume of 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters and the motherboard is quiet. How quiet you may ask? Quite quiet. All stepper controllers are Trinamic TMC2209 version 2. I got to congratulate Two Trees for opting for the original Trinamic stepper controllers. Power supply 360 watts, that's usually about 15 amps. Nozzle goes to 260 degrees Celsius max unless you get the magnum uh, mosquito hot end and the bed goes to 100 degrees celsius max dual v slot rail for the bed dolly which is great automatic bed leveling with 3d touch dual fan nozzle cooling and axis trap to the control board without having to flip the 3d printer to the side the 3d printer comes with belt tensioner so you do not have to print these and a magnetic PEI flex sheet for easy removal of 3D prints. Careful though, some filaments stick too well on that, so do some due diligence about the filaments that cooperate with the PEI flex sheet. PLA is fine, but I think ABS may not want to get off the PEI flex sheet without taking some of it off. The devil is in the details, and this 3D printer seems to have them all. GT2 belt synced lead screws and also check out the lead screws. They do not look like your regular run of the mill lead screws. Artillery, you better watch out. Fancy gantry frame with special extruded aluminum gantry. There are not the usual V slot rails 2020. Silent open source motherboard with five 2209 version 2 TMC stepper controllers. Does this give you any ideas? If not, I'll tell you at the end. And in addition, there is another unknown in the Two Trees Bluer Plus. But wait, the list goes on. The printer comes equipped with 0.9 degrees stepper motors, so you do not have to change them. Check out my video on how I upgraded my Two Tree Sapphire S to 0.9 degree steppers. With this one you don't have to. So in this Cartesian gantry this is quite useful because you may get less wall chatter and more precise 3D prints. You get a BMG style extruder dual geared for the best possible precision in extrusion at the current date and technology. And the wide gantry rollers are self-tensioned with springs or they tension automatically. I guess bye bye eccentric nuts. Rest in peace. And then you also can adjust the Z couplers on the Z lead screws which already look better than the run of the mill lead screws. Did I say that the devil is in the details? I guess I did. And no more of those pesky snapping anti backlash T nuts that they make a horrendous sound. Some time ago, I thought the Sidewinder X1 was a complete 3D printer. Well, leave it to two trees to give them a run for their money. So you got ergonomics, motherboard with stepper controller sockets, and if you want the possibility to add a second extruder to use dual filament, I think you can. Double check that. The only thing that is missing, the printer is not a Core XY, but I bet it can give my Sapphire S a run for its money. And we don't know if the hot end is a full metal hot end or not, but many will upgrade the hot end anyway, so it's negligible. I wonder if they will soon sell this 3D printer dual extruder ready because of the fifth included TMC stepper 
controller. I think Reality should remove that BS DIY from their 3D printer's title because their motherboards do not have sockets and they do not have the fifth stepper controller. So if you want a dual extruder, before you get there, you have to change the motherboard. Yes, and that CR10S Pro version 2 is $200 more expensive than this one. I bet you they will come up with a dual extruder and maybe a dual extruder Core XY. I wonder, will they then call their 3D printers Pro? That will remain to be seen, but until then, I bid Demon on me's farewell and adieu.